Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another, another, uh, arc. another video, video, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost, so, so Matt, whatever, <laughs> it, it, it's too late, man, we're, we're, we're like, what are we, like, nine, ten episodes in, I'm not gonna learn the name, but that's okay, because, uh, because, um, Flawful keeps posting, uh, arc name puns, so that'll make up for it, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, welcome back. Last time, Natsume and Tomo Tomoe had another interrogation. Though it kind of went better for Natsume. She kind of stood her down. Um, though her mental is kind of losing it. And she's basically just planning now to ignore anything about Hinamizawa. But I don't think you can ignore it. I think she's probably going to hear the footsteps. But she said she doesn't really believe in, and it's starting to get a little crazy from that. We heard that uh, old man Hatakiyama's family also killed themselves because of the syndrome, so it's going to be rough. Tomoe's probably going to have to break her promise, cause, and we're probably going to be seeing this a lot. Hopefully nothing bad happens to Natsume's family, but there's so much build-up for it to happen, so could be unlucky. Let's see. Well, we're chilling for now. Confused, I look back and forth between Chisato chan standing proudly in front of me in an imposing stance and the two colorful tickets sitting on my desk. They seem like movie tickets. As soon as class ended, Shisato Chan placed, slammed, the tidbits on my desk with the triumphant look on her face. Over on by her smile, I took one of them to be safe. The date was this Sunday, the price was 2500 yen? What the fuck? What the fuck? 2500 yen? Excuse me? Sorry, quick Google. Yen to CAD. 20. basically a $26 movie ticket? Why is that so insane? <laughs> In Canada, that's like... I mean, are they are they on fucking... Oh, shit, I forgot what it's called. I can't make the joke! I forgot what it's called! Is it D-Live? D... D-Live. D-Bots? <laughs> D-Bots! Yeah, we have these uh, things called D-Bots in our Cineplexes where... Um, they're like red seats and they like move around and shit. It's kind of like a 4D experience, though just in the seat. It's gotta be that, man. $26 is insane. I looked up, but she sat up and just smiled and said nothing. Reluctantly, I, I took the other one and verified it had the same information. The only difference was the serial number. Oh, new theater. Oh, she's misunderstanding. It's clearly for a day with Akira. So cute. Natsumi is so cute. <laughs> Bonker? Was that a bonk? Nope. <laughs> she shouted right in my face, causing me to flinch backwards. By pure dumb luck, I managed to avoid falling out of my chair. True. Hey, what's wrong with that? Get, getting some D bot seat with the boys? Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Faced with yet another shout, I hid behind my other best friend who was standing next to me, Tamako Chan, who'd been watching our interaction up close with exasperation. 
Let out a deep sigh as she stood between Chisato-chan and me, then began to speak. What are you- what? Am I crazy? Maybe I have better high school. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm shaking my glass. You guys haven't watched enough uh, high school dramas, huh? I think Tamako would know. She's wearing that damn nail polish on her toes. She's the most grown up here. Foot model. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, hot take. I don't even know if it's a good date spot a movie. There are times where I, well, haven't done recently. Sometimes I just went, like, alone to watch a shitty horror movie. I feel like when I'm in the theaters, even when you're with, like, friends and stuff, I'm just I'm just trying to focus on the movie. <laughs> and then you, like, briefly talk about the movie after. And then you go hang out. No. <laughs> Yikes. Tomato with the low blow. You love to see it. But, yeah, okay. <laughs> Triple digits? Bro, how old are these girls? Like, 17? See, you've seen triple digit movies? I don't even think I've been to the movie theater in the triples. Yeah, I don't think I've... I feel like you need to be like... Grown up to see them, unless you watch a lot of movies. You know, I'm not dissing. I actually, respect the grind if you've really uh, if you've really got the triple digits down. I definitely watched like triple digit movies for sure, but not theater viewing. Yanyo. The usual sarcasm and rebuttals began to unfold. Normally, I just watch from the sidelines without doing anything, but this time the situation was a bit different. Join in. She was making less sense by the minute, but then. Yo, Akira, it's been a while. Oh. Right at the perfect moment. Oh no, she doesn't even notice him. Yo, maybe this shit's like a Cineplex VIP. We have a VIP section in some Cineplexes where they where you can buy like sushi and wine while drinking <laughs> while watching a movie. So I'm still caught up on that. How much is Cineplex VIP tickets? I've never, never tried. Just because it's so expensive. That that actually feels more like a date setting, huh? Get some wine and sushi. <laughs> I'm just... Okay, I just want to see, like, how much this shit is. Wait. Get two tacos. Order any any two tacos. Get one free on Taco Tuesday. Now we're talking. <laughs> Yo, they got Sandria. Picture of Sandria. But I, I want to see the tickets. The tickets. Tickets for VIP. Oh, here it is. VIP. Bro, just show me the prices. Oh. Price, here we go. What? Wait, no. <laughs> Hold up. I know we're getting okay. No, it's twenty dollars? It's only twenty dollars. I mean it's still kinda pricey. I mean it is the most pricey. Uh, oh D bots is okay, D bots is twenty four dollars. So that would be the comparison. Okay. 
I mean, I guess it made sense. I don't even know if the seats are better in Cineplex VIP. I think they're like pair seats, like two like intimate seats. Anyways, we're so off topic. <laughs> let's uh, let's just focus back in. I like movies, so it was it's a, a interesting. Anyways, good moment. Shaku. The moment I realized the meaning of those words, my face flushed. For the better or worse, a Kirkan who come to get his dictionary back also froze when he heard it. <laughs> Easy. Not even, not even shot. It seemed like bad timing to me, maybe even the worst. Shisato-chan gave me a sidelong glance. As I stood there petrified, then she walked up to Akira-kun. akira turned to leave the classroom. Based. Just leaves. Says nothing leaves. No doubt his warning incidents from many years of friendship with Chisato-chan kicking in. But she swiftly grabbed him by the collar before he could escape. Those bold words snapped me out of my funk as I frantically stood up and rushed over to Chisato-chan, but it was already too late. Pupils? <laughs> pupils. Okay. The classroom where more than half of my classmates still remained turned into a melting pot of cheering and on an instant. The boys whistled while the girls surrounded me in a flash. Yo. It's the most, uh, most uh, interesting thing in the school for the day. The gossipers are gonna be eating good tonight. Yo! Got him. High, high ranking on the list? Or was that only for girls? Is Toto popping off? Excuse me, Hanyu? No matter how hard I wanted to deny it, my mind was in a panic. My throat was trembling and I couldn't think of any words to say. Plus, it wasn't just my face. My whole body was heating up as though it was blowing out steam. I felt like I was about to faint right there. Gone. Oh, nope. He's getting hounded too. You won the race, brother. Okay. He's dead? Rip. On the other hand, Akira-kun was being jostled, pot kicked, and put into a headlock by some of his friends. He managed to escape their rather violent expression of congratulations, then glared angrily at Shisato-chan standing there with her arms crossed and a big grin. And she didn't even say yes yet. It was just a very cryptic response she had. Actually slammed, holy. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> She was just like, uh, I believe in happy endings, and then left. <laughs> Come on, you both like each other, just do it. It needs to be done. 
用事で何度もうちのクラスに顔を出してたくせに情けないからありしない Owned? <laughs> Owned? Was, was that true? Come to think of it, I didn't notice he'd been giving and taking dictionaries and notebooks from Chisato chan and Tamako chan during breaks recently, but I didn't think of anything of it. <laughs> True, but it is really funny, so I like it. Tomato gave her usual snarky retort, but I didn't agree. She sat her trying to set way too much. She's taking this too far. This was crazy. I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I don't know if you should yell that. It's awkward. You guys, it's already done, man. Might as well just do it. Seal the deal. Oh. Dude, I love when I, whenever I trade us that little finger thing. Looking kind of classy. A grand cheer erupted. Before I knew it, there was even a crowd gathering outside the classroom. With ha with things how they are, the host will, will know about this tomorrow, and I have to spend several days on a bed of nails. <laughs> Unsure whether to be angry or sad, I raised both my fists as I objected to Chisato-chan. My face was on the verge of tears. But she such a time gave me a hearty laugh, then a strong pat on the shoulder with a huge grin on her face. <laughs> She's powering up? I pounded on Chisato chan's chest, but deep down, I wasn't complaining. She wasn't around that Akira Kun and I have been acting cautious around each other, and haven't broached broach the topic once this whole time. Then, perhaps this was really her way of showing me consideration? Thinking about it, that allowed me to at least somewhat forgive Chisato chan's outrageous actions. Wah! I'll clap to it. <laughs> Still powering up? I take it back. No way I can forgive this! I began to raise my voice and almost saying her, but then... You're under arrest. Alright, BRBs. Need to go to the washroom. If this is Tomoe, not gonna be happy. This is like super hot lucky. Ogata? The school broadcast was calling my name. Ogata sensei was calling me. What on earth could this be for? The vibe has been killed. After dismissing Chisato chan and Tomato chan's dubious looks, I began to make my way out of the classroom. It was only later I learned my sudden departure caused the girls to start interrogating Akira kun too, rather than just the boys. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Drowning in gossip. Huh. 
After finally securing a quiet place by, drink by the drinking fountain, Hakura breathed a sigh of relief. He'd been pushed and kicked around until a moment ago, and the joints of his body were aching. It was unclear if the boys and girls were really celebrating, their congratulations were so rough and unforgiving that it made him wonder if they were actually jealous. In all honesty, he knew they were probably just looking for a distraction from their boring school lives. But that didn't make being on the receiving end any easier. Interesting, we're getting Acura POV. <laughs> he left his bed behind, but it was too late to do anything about that. He began heading in the direction of the art room, but a thought suddenly came to mind after he took the first step. His classmates in the art club were fond of rumors. They were likely already up in arms about this latest revelation. So going to the art room at this point in time was essentially a death sentence. <laughs> Boom! You call and you shall receive. Literally popped out of nowhere. Nothing personal, kid. A voice suddenly cried out from behind, causing Akira to jump in surprise. When looking back, Chisato was standing there with a grin and an amused look on her face, accompanied by a bitterly smiling Tamako. Akira glanced at her with a hint of genuine anger. As he wasn't found of cra crowds, it had been no laughing matter. It was a rather annoying experience. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Oh. Akira was upset and in no mood to play along with Chisato's jokes, so he split those wor spit those words out to end the conversation. Intending to leave, he slipped between the two of them and turned his back. Uh oh. He almost didn't hear it. Chisato's voice was low, a far cry from the cheerful tone she had up until a moment ago. Akira suddenly stopped and turned around. Jisato was standing with her back turned to her shoulders slumped. Tamako also had a forlorn expression on her face. Bruh, what? How does everyone know about that? Oh, oh, never mind. They know about the incident, but not Natsume. I was saying, if that was a rumor around school, she would have been in trouble. Unless Ogata called her because of the rumor, then that'd be kind of fucked up. With, an, uh, with a pain in his chest, Akira nodded. I mean, I guess Akira would know, because she knows Natsume goes there. People even in his class has been talking about the murder at Psyche Care and Welfare Center. However, most of the students were keeping mum out of consideration for the well-liked Shisato, and warnings from their homeroom teachers not to make a commotion out of it. Chisato faced Tamako and faintly nodded. Then she turned around with a serious expression and asked, Akira gasped from the sudden question. 
Still, to honor his promise to Natsumi, he tried to tell Chisato that he didn't know, but then he remembered where Natsumi worked and said, yeah, while well, nodding. Yeah, fair enough. Good. After hearing that, Chisato let out a disturbed sigh. Finding her reaction strange, Akira gave her a puzzled look, but then... At last, an idea struck him. If her part-time job was at the care and welfare center, there was a high probability that she was involved with people in the incident, or worse, she could have had the misfortune of being a witness at the scene of the incident. Kinda. She saw the body. Spill the tea. The director of Natsume's workplace was murdered, and the killer was an elderly man living at the center who was a friend of Natsume's. And worse, Natsume saw the victim's body up close while it was being carried away. She all but lost control from the shock of it all. そんなことが俺何も知らなかった。だよね。アキラちゃんがそのこと知ってたら夏美のことを放っておくわけないのね。タマ。タマ<笑> is serious. Bro, look at that face. Serious Tama. I love her eyes. How how the the size of Raya eyes changed so much. And it's a compliment. I wish I had morphine eyes like that. Even though she was facing Tamako, Shisato didn't say anything and just held her head. Unable to understand the situation, Akira continued asking. You won't regret it. What are they gonna drop? Do they know that she's from Hinomizawa? That was unexpected. Pulling down the hand covering her face, she sought to look at Akira. Oh god. How long had it been since Akira saw a look like this on Shisato's face? He thought it was a joke. At first he felt exasperated, figuring it was just another one of her over-the-top threats meant as nothing. But Shisato wasn't laughing, neither was Tamako. That spoke clear volumes of just how serious the coming conversation was going to be. Silence hung over the three of them, each with different expressions and sentiments. A cold sweat ran down Akira's cheek and dripped, dripped from his chin. The only sound that could be heard was the cry of the Higurashi in the evening. Good one. Eventually, after some hesitation, Akira slowly and somewhat awkwardly nodded at Shisato. <laughs> What the heck? Huh? What? <laughs> Akira's eyes widened from the unexpected words, but Jisato maintained her solemn expression and continued. Natsumi but now, a murder occurred at Natsume's part-time job. So if everyone found out about Natsume's part-time job, 
Her gossip hungry classmates would tell all, her all sorts of rude and insensitive questions, hoping to hear more about the incident. If that happened, her mentality stability might deteriorate even further. We do not want that. We need the good mental, please. That was why even Shisato and Tomato, her closest friends, didn't want to broach the subject for a long time. Yet recently, Tomato happened to overhear people in her class talking about how Natsumi worked at the scene of the crime. It got leaked? Akira, did you spill the beans? Oh my god. Oh my god. Once again, Shisato and I are in the same wavelength. She even said spill the beans. Honestly, that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but then who did? そんなの分かってるよ。アキラがそんな奴じゃないってことくらい。私たちだって同じ気持ち。でも、だとしたらもっと最悪の可能性が出てくるんだよ。What? Who spilled it? I I actually don't know. After his eyes widened in astonishment, that was truly the worst possibility. What the? Self sabotage? Ooh. What the? Heck? He was stunned, even though this deduction could be reached by a process of elimination. He couldn't believe such a bizarre answer. Or rather, he didn't want to believe it. Yeah, I don't really get it either. <laughs> what proof? あきらのその疑問は私たちにずっと持ってた。話して夏美の得になることなんて何一つあるはずがない。だから夏美が話すわけない。と思ってたけど。けど。そもそもおかしいんだよ。夏美から聞いたってこと。昼休みに話す機会があって聞いてみたらさ、夏美、その日南沢の犯人のことをすっごく口汚く罵ってたそうなんだ。Okay, oh. then it was her. I thought this was this might be some tendy chest from Shisato to try to break up the relationship, but Natsume is full on uh, on the racism train against Hinamizawans, I guess. どうだ新社って言った方がいいのかな本当君見沢の人ってのは最悪だったよ巻き込まれて災難だったよアキュラは巻き込まれて災難だったよアキュラは巻き込まれて災難だったよアキュラは巻き込まれて災難だったよアキ
Natsume got shy because she was being teased by the other turtles and she was angry with Chisato. So as far as Akira could see, Natsume seemed to be doing fine. Thinking about that, he felt a little relieved. But neither Chisato nor Tamako agreed with that assessment. あの子と喋ったり遊びに行ったりしてるから。あの子って結構嫌なことがあった時にはそれを聞き苦しいだけなんだよ。落ち込んでる時は大丈夫って口で言う割に顔なのに最近あの子のことをずっと注意して見てる
Oh god. Never mind, they're being kind of racist, maybe? <laughs> Whether it was because she thought her friend had the blood of lunatics running through her, or because she hated herself for suspecting her friend might be something like that. Atra didn't know. I do understood Ch Chisato's frustration and indecision very well. No one wanted to believe their friend was a lunatic, but at the same time, no one's, no one wants their friend to be a liar. God damn! Never mind. I was wrong. Everyone believes that Hinami's aunts are lunatics, apparently. It's kind of fucked up, man. Fats and fissions when forced to accept one or the other, which would bring less pain and suffering. Nevertheless, be based, Akira. Be the change Japan needs right now. I'll still like her. Oh, great question. After sighing heavily, Chisato and Tamato looked up at Akira. Then, after choosing his words, Akira breathed them and spoke quietly. Based. True. Literally true. Waiting and seeing isn't doesn't usually work for this, but I don't know what would work. So I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. She's spitting. Owned, owned. Listening to Akira's well thought out words, the two of them turned their days downward. But Shisato quickly raised her head as though in a dream and shut off the feeling. Then she turned to Atria with a smile on her face. Yes. Alright, good one, Akira. Re regrouping the troops. Tamako said that, clapped her hands, and gave a refreshing smile. She turned back to Atra, looking at him with a hint of mischief. After saying that, the two of them headed back to the classroom in high spirits. Atra saw them off and caught himself looking up at the sunset sky. True. When the first, when those two first introduced him to her, he thought she was a girl who reminded him of a autumn of the autumn cherry blossoms, like a rose, vivid but not garish, like a sunflower, lively but not showy, just simple, a fleeting beauty who appeared to susceptible who appeared susceptible to a stiff breeze he liked her innocently smiling face he loved her sincerity that brought tears to her eyes when she looked at his drawings and declared them fantastic 
She was probably more gentle than any girl he had ever met. It felt like she had a warm heart. That's why he was nervous. Even though he said encouraging things to Chisato, Akira was also very scared. If something caused her to lose that kindness and innocence, and if they were to never return again, what would he do? No, what should he do? Should he wait? Should he move on? Or should he kill her? No, I'm joking. <laughs> he gently muttered that name. He wished to someday call her by that name when he conveyed his feelings to her. That alone brought a memory of Natsumi's smile into his mind, warming his heart. If possible, he'd like to see it all the time. He wanted to get it back, back, and if he was capable of that. In the evening sky, the voice of the Hidrashi could be heard echoing. The vividly colored scenery was beautiful, and Akira kept staring at the clouds blowing in the sky as they faded into a deep vermilion hue. End me. Okay, good, good section. I am excited about the date. So I think Natsumi might have gotten it spelled or something from the high school, from the part-time job, since they didn't show that. Tip me? Nope, just a chapter break. Oh, hell yeah, it's, it's time, baby. Okay, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for Natsumi's first date. Should be pretty good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.